What's up YouTube, Jeff back again, and today I'm making a follow up video to a video I made a few days ago. I made this video right here, how to send videos on Galaxy phones without using losing quality, S22 Ultra, Z Fold 3, etc., any Galaxy phone you want. And it's doing pretty well, and people like the video. But I did make one major omission that a lot of people have pointed out to me, and I'll go in the comments because a lot of people have been commenting on this, and uh, I just got one right there. You can also do this what you're explaining with Google Photos with a Samsung phone by using Quick Share. And indeed, this is true. You can use Samsung's Quick Share feature to share links, and also you can use it to share files instantly from device to device, just like Apple's AirDrop feature if you have a bunch of Galaxy devices. As you guys can see right here, I got my Z Flip 3. I got my Galaxy Z Fold 3, my Ultra, and I also have my Tab S8 Ultra right here. It's got some fingerprints on the back case. And I actually use this feature a lot for sharing between my Samsung devices. So I feel bad that I omitted it. I should not have omitted this because it is something that I use a lot with the devices that I have. So let me show you guys how to use this since so many people did comment on it. If you go into the settings and you go to advanced features, You'll see the setting here called Quick Share. And uh, in here, it's got all of your information. You can change basically who can share with you. I have it set to contacts only, but I'm gonna do anyone nearby just for the purposes of the video. Uh, you can show position to others when you use Quick Share. This is maybe not a great idea unless you have it set to contacts only. Convert videos to compatible format. This is probably a good idea if you have HDR videos. Um, that you want to convert to a format someone can view on their own device. So that, that probably is a good idea to enable right there. Uh, link sharing history. This shows um, how often you've shared links and how much you've shared in terms of file size. You only get five gigabytes per day. Um, and it does show you all the ones that you've uh, sent or received. So you can filter. You see I sent one earlier today um, to my other device. Auto delete expired files, use Wi-Fi only. So you can turn this on to use only Wi-Fi. Privacy notice and then about quick share. So these are the things you have to choose. And then of course you can choose the name of your device, how it shows up in quick share. So let's say now that I want to send a file, let's send a file to my Tab S8 Ultra here, which I have over here. I'll show you guys really quickly how it works. I'm gonna unlock my tablet. What you can do is go into your gallery on your device and choose the file you wanna share. I'm gonna choose uh, this video right here. And then down here, I'm gonna type quick share. And then you'll see up here in the list of devices, Jeff's Tab S8 Ultra. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap on that. It's gonna to connect to my Tab S8 Ultra over here. Oops, it shared it so fast that it didn't even give me time to show it. Um, but it did share the file, and now the file has been completed, and now I can view it over here. You guys can see the video that I just received that file right there. So that's the quick share feature that allows you to share from device to device. Uh, you can see it was sent. It shows you successfully down there as well. Now, if you don't want to send it from device to device instantaneously, or you just don't have multiple Galaxy devices, if you have a friend that has an iPhone, for instance, or another Android device, the quick share file to uh, device to device share only works if you have Galaxy devices. So I can send this to my Tab S8 Ultra, my Fold, I can send it to my Flip, you know, any of my Samsung devices, but I cannot send it to someone who has an iPhone. So what I can do instead though, is there's two options down here to share as a link. You can either share it as a QR code, so you could send this QR code, right, to get the link, or you can go share in an app, and this will actually generate the link for you you can either open one of your favorite social media apps. And if you go to more, there's a lot of different options here. Basically all the social media apps I use, or you can copy the link. And then it's gonna copy the link to your clipboard and then you can go and share it. It'll show you right here, the link that you have and it's available until a certain date. So it's about 48 hours, I think, just until May 10th. So 48 hours to share that link. So this is another great way to share videos with your Galaxy device without losing quality. Um, it's one I should have mentioned before because it is a Samsung native option. 
The only reason I mentioned photos over this is because I, of course, use a lot of devices, iPhones, other Android devices, uh, and desktop, and Google Photos is just universal, so sharing the link is a little easier for me. And there's also that five gigabyte limit, which doesn't sound like, you know, it's really a limit for a lot of people, but if you share really big files like I do as a YouTuber, that can also be a restriction. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Samsung Quick Share, definitely check this out if you have friends with Galaxy phones. Basically, it's AirDrop, but for your Galaxy device, just as good as Apple's AirDrop. I mean, really no downsides. If you guys enjoyed the video, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification icon, future videos like this. You guys can also join our May giveaway if you're interested. I'll drop the link below, giving away a flagship device. I appreciate you guys checking this one out, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.